A bit of a quicker video today. It's windy outside, so I've brought you in. There's been a few improvements, but I think the majority of the time now is going to be spent rubbing back the paintwork, ready to prepare to prepare the metal for priming, painting, finishing. So actually on the inside there's not going to be the drastic changes that we saw over the past two or three months. It's just going to be simple, easy, small changes. theme this week there's been a few subtle changes my uh, my veg cupboard on the floor looks fantastic um, not as deep as I thought it would be but then I didn't have any didn't have any idea of how deep it would be to be fair deep enough for fruit and veg I'm kind of thinking potatoes at the bottom onions all the things that take up an awful lot of room i can't buy frozen veg because i've got this i've got this freezer thing um so frozen veg in there potatoes onions apples bananas things in that in that underfloor larder i think that'll work quite well and of course i've got my three hobby thing now do some cooking and here comes Marcus Mark, Mark the painter is rubbing down the boat making a dreadful noise however I think they're going to be about the right place to put my pots and pans so I think a couple of pans here stacked up and a couple of pans there stacked up well, I think that's going to be my pan place, which actually saves me an awful lot of space that I hadn't considered. Pans do take up quite a bit of space. I'm sat on the dinette. And my portholes in. I think that's only just to make sure that, um, that, that it's the correct size, the correct fitting, and all that sort of stuff goes along with it. But uh, nice and easy to open flick that little switch yes it's single glazed but I think they're a bobby dazzler I do I think it's coming along with the the blue wall next to the kitchen done all the doors have been done it's just a matter now of Mark doing some rubbing down really is starting to come together the lights are up now the other thing I've noticed is these lights in the in the galley in the saloon in the dinette area they're all quite bright in the bathroom and the bedroom slightly more subdued light and it creates the wood to become more woody is there such a word kind of a bit more orangey type of a feel to it but you know it's great and I also spoke to Ben who fitted the lights and it's like a two minute job just prise out the little light and unplug them and then plug a new light in if of course you need it and of course that center panel along the top of uh, of the ceiling well that holds all the electrics 
So it's quite easy to get to if I wanted to wanted to change anything. Not that I would, I don't think. And all the other stuff is just underneath the cabin sides. Great, fantastic. It's really taking shape. When Chef Mike, if I get Chef Mike, there's gonna be a shelf put in here and possibility of a microwave going on the top here S. Mullen who commented and he said he said microwaves generally open open from right to left and he said that might get in the way when you're doing a bit of cooking and do you know what he's absolutely right I don't know if you can get a left to right opening microwave door or if microwave doors I don't think they do I need to do a bit of research on that because if if I am going to get a microwave to have it open in that way is a bit of a pain. However, these are the compromises you to make you need to make when you're when you're designing a narrow boat home. So I'm in the office researching microwaves. In the past, some companies have tried producing the microwave with hinges on the right, which would have suited me. Despite their efforts, they didn't achieve much profit or sales in selling left-handed microwaves. Therefore, they can discontinue their production. Basically, all microwaves open from left to right. However, there are some microwaves that you can grab the door and pull down. I'm just researching sharp. Sharp do one of those 24 inch microwave draw oven stainless steel. Let's have a quick look at that. That looks quite swish. I wonder how much that costs. Do, 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 do. Shop now. Let me sign up to all sorts of stuff. I said, oh. Oh, just some rubbish. Yeah, so what I need to do now? Okay, I've looked that up. One thousand three hundred and sixty quid. If I get a microwave, I just have to put up with it. I think there's no way am I prepared to pay that amount for a pull-down microwave. Looks very nice, but <laughs> not a chance. Sofa Bed Barn has made a delivery over the week. They make sofa beds. Um, and that's in the back ISO container at the moment. I'm going to go and have a look at it. Sofa bed type. Lattice. Mattress thing. This is a grey, a dark grey colour. That's the colour of the wood. And there's my trim down there, look. When you buy stuff off the internet, looking at internet pictures, it's a bit of a risk as to what colour matches and I kind of think this is going to match. By all accounts, the multi-fuel stove corner is going to get told this coming week. That will be in a grey tiley with grey grouty thing. But when I was in here at the initial stages of the design of the narrow boat, you know, when it was being built, I always thought the television which is there is a little bit too far to the left, perhaps. I always imagined myself sitting here. But then that may be the case because the sofa bed barn sofa bed thing probably comes to about here and then there's a sufficient walk round space to go into the barn to go into the office planning the narrow boat kind of one of those things where it now becomes 
absolutely essential that measurements and plans and everything that goes along with an interior fit out of a boat is kind of thought through. But once again, all the uh, all the plumbing's been covered now, and the radiator pipes have been covered with a silver type of pipey covering thing. Great. I have to move my shoulders a tad, but you know what? I'm pretty much, pretty much, you know, there's no side moves. I can get in. Bit of, bit of a shoulder, shoulder squeeze and the head height is probably a little over five foot ten which is good enough for me again the lighting in here is a little bit subtle and um, they'll be able to be dimmed on a dimmy thing. I don't know where that's going to be. I don't know if it's, it's on the side wall or somewhere along the line. But Evil Knievel on his new bike. Mark the painter. This week, it's been a quiet week on the boat. Although some stuff's happened, the lights have, the LED lights have gone on that center panel. And if you undo that center panel, then all the light electrics and it's easy to get at and all that sort of stuff, which I think is great. It's good planning to enable a biff like me to, to fix a boat should I require to. And all the other electrics are either under the gunnel and in that pipe boxing and on the other side of the boat, which is gonna get a little bit of trim over the next, not trim as a heck, but you know, some trim, some of this trimmy type stuff that Marcus is doing. And some of the panels are, have been fitted now, the blue panel next to the, the galley and the dinette. The dinette bottom panels have been fitted. The silver things that go either side of the the copper tube things that go on the on the radiator. They give that finishing touch. Oh, and it's kind of it's taking shape, but the primary use now of time is by scrubbing, rubbing, sanding, metal sanding, metal sanding the the outside of the boat. That's gonna take some time apparently. And then once that's done primed, rubbed down, primed, rubbed down, and then three coats of, uh, of two-pack paint, whichever colour is going on the boat. Well, I'm not going to release that just yet. Uh, nor the name. I don't know what's going on next week, again. Again, I just think there's lots of painty rubby. There's still some battery stuff that needs to go in there. The toilet needs to go in there. The uh, Solar panels need to go on. There's lots of stuff to do, but it evolves around the painting stuff. And now I've got to try and keep that a bit of a under wraps. Leave that to the leave that to the launch. Although some people are starting to prod me, what colour are you going to make it? What colour? What's the name? And all that sort of stuff. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. And believe me, I want to tell you. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and next week, oh, more of the same stuff I suppose, see you next week.